get the tray. Keep watching. I don't normally eat breakfast, but we have bacon. We have Cheerios. And she made it. <laughs> she made the bacon. She was like, I have bacon. And I walk out, she's like, there's no bacon. And I'm like, you just said you made bacon. Ask if they can smell it. I don't think they can. Ask. Yeah, I don't like milk in my cereal, which apparently is weird. Apparently that is very weird. Um, Sam made a tweet about it recently, and we were getting into it in like the comments about like, you know, like why are you putting liquid in your crunchy food? Regardless, uh, it is August 7th? It's roughly, I really should start filming with my other hand. It's roughly 11 a.m. I'm a stuffy nose because I have allergies and they're not going well. Uh, I have some cleaning to do and then I work at four. So hopefully I get some cleaning done before four. Because if I don't, then I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, so let, we'll see how that goes. Um, other than that, that's all I have planned today. I didn't go to the car wash like I wanted to. I didn't want to go to the car wash. I didn't do that. Um, maybe tomorrow. I'll keep saying that until I actually get my car washed. Just is so different from what it used to be. Too late. I got sick. You know, I always forget about natural light because never open that window. Bed's made, sorta. I was <laughs> just sitting on it, but bed's made, kinda. And when I was cleaning, I had a bunch of stuff to take care of with my bed. So that was that. So I did do the cleaning. I had like literally. I think eight books in my bed, which just happens because I like start reading a book and then I go to bed and then I forget that the book is there. So, oh well. <laughs> my hair is still gross, but I straightened it a bit. I have this really cool like hairbrush straightener. It's, it just applies heat and you like brush it through like a hairbrush. So it's not the best. I couldn't find my actual straightener. <laughs> Didn't know where it was, so I would just use that instead, which I normally use um, after I blow dry my hair. But it's not the worst. My wash day is tonight, so I'm just going to wash it tonight and make it look less gross. But I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, or I go to work at 4. It's currently about 1.32. I'm going to go get lunch, and then I'm going to go to work. And then chill for four hours, because it's probably going to be dead. Cause there's nothing to do. This is what I mean when I say my car needs a wash. Like, look at this. It's literally disgusting. Like the windows are disgusting. Also, it is so gross outside. I don't know how hot it is, but it is disgusting. Just like my car. Oh my gosh, the back is even worse. Oh my gosh, I really need, I really need a wash. This is sad. This is so sad. I also need gas, but like, Look how hot it is outside. It's 106. Excuse you. That's just that's just too much. Oh, it's windy. Um, I just had lunch. I went to Panda Express. Um, now I have like an hour or so of time to kill. I don't know what I want to do. Figure it out. So I went to Kohl's uh, just to kill time because. I have currently about 50 minutes before I have to be at work, and I don't really want to go home. Um, shrug. Um, but then something interesting happened. The, I put in my mom's my mom's number. It's the home phone number of my parents' house, and that's what I use for all rewards things, except for Barnes and Noble, in which case my grandma pays for the rewards, that, like the the membership. So I use her number for that, which is still the home phone number. Um, so either way, in a, a place where neither 951 nor 714 are used, I use 951 for almost all my rewards for things, except I'll, I do use my own phone number for Target. Um, aside, so I put my mom's home phone number in, which is the only phone number. I have three phone numbers memorized that are not my own. It's my mom's, my dad's, and my home phone number, which we don't use except for rewards. So whenever we my mom's like, oh, we're gonna cancel. I'd be like, well, give me the transfer info so I can just take that number, please. <laughs> anyway, I put that in for calls, and then the guy looks at me and goes, oh, Amy? I'm like, yeah, let's go with that. And he's like, which rewards number do you use? And I go, what do you mean? 
And then he shows me the screen and there's two rewards accounts under the same phone number, which does not check out. But then I look at it, I look at him, he looks at it, he looks at me and I go, well, that's my mom. So I don't know. And he's like, well, does she have a Kohl's card? I'm like, it doesn't sound like her, but I'm not experienced. I don't know her credit history. And I look at him, he looks at me and he goes, well, that would explain it. Or it just made two of them. And I'm like, okay makes no sense and then he's like yeah and then I look at him he looks at me and I go just use the top one so I text my mom and I'm like hey um just so you know the guy at Kohl's wanted me to let you know you have two Kohl's rewards accounts and he's like I was just like why and I go I don't know and she's like I wonder how that happened I'm like well do you have a Kohl's card she goes no and I go well that was the one explanation he gave me so um we're just gonna use the first one there's a dollar of rewards on it so I don't know if the rewards expire or how often my mom goes to Kohl's, but that, that was my Kohl's story. I bought one shirt, so I was like, maybe I should have gone back and bought a second shirt and then tried the second one and got the balance, but I don't have the money to buy a second shirt. I bought the one shirt because I needed a nice shirt, so it's not even particularly a nice shirt. It's a tank top that's kind of see-through, so I might have to go buy camisoles at Target because I don't buy that Kohl's. So Kohl's is nicer close than Target. <laughs> um, so that was my Kohl's experience. Also, there's a really nice looking wallet that had like a bunch of like card slots and it was pink. So I almost bought it. But then I was like, I don't need a wallet. So I held it for like five minutes and then I put it back and then there was this really nice dress that was 50% off. But normal price was like $80. So half off would have been like 40 or something. Something like that. Or it was six. It was too much money. <laughs> because it's Kohl's, and they carry like the mid-tier designer level stuff. So it's like nice clothes and stuff, but I'm not buying it. Like I'm the person that bought Levi jeans from Target on clearance because I didn't want to drive to Old Navy to buy the Old Navy jeans on clearance. I don't buy clothes full price. I, <laughs> I rarely buy anything full price. I'm like, oh, I'll just use a coupon. I bought AirPod Pros and then I got the text from Target that told me how much money I saved. It was half the cost of the AirPod Pros. And it was like, oh wow, you saved like $125. And I'm like, that is because I'm the best. And then I sent the, the text, like the, the little notification to some friends. I'm like, I bought AirPod Pros. And they're like, did you get money back for them? They're like, how much do those cost? I'm like, well, they're normal price $250, but they haven't been $250 at Target for like a millennia and a half because at most they're 200. Currently, right now, they're 180. Uh, when I got them, they were 180. So that counts the $50, like the $70 that are off like from the sale as part of the money saved. I have a red card, and then I had a coupon, and then I had like points, and then I had a team member number, and it's just like all this stuff. And it's just like, let's put it all on there. Um, and so that's how I saved like half price off of AirPods. I bought like, I don't buy anything full price except for my phone I bought full price because I got it for free with a trade-in. So I didn't get it full price. I just have to stay on AT&T for mm, the rest of my lifespan. I don't buy McDonald's fries at full price. I don't buy anything at full price. Weird. <laughs> didn't buy this car at full price. It's used and we got it a thousand dollars off even because when we called they had just listed it and then they're like oh we're gonna put new tires on it and then we're like well can we still get it for the money you told us it was and he was like yeah so i got free tires on this car yeah i don't know where i got that from <laughs> uh so i don't know what else i'm gonna do before work i might just go sit in the break room i might go get starbucks Two options, Starbucks or the break room, or Starbucks then the break room. We'll see. But I'm off work. I accidentally brought my name tag with me. I don't normally do that. Uh, I just don't like it today, I guess. Also, because I forgot to put it away. Uh, but I'm off work now, so let's head home. We're making dinner and a mess, but mostly dinner. Um, oh, can I do this one-handed? Probably not. Um, we have some ground beef, and then this is going to be rice, it's just in this bag right now. And then this is going to be tortillas, 
throw in that bag right over there. Big bag. Because I got through tortillas like no one's business. Um, and that's, that's it. But there's a brief pause in the cooking process so I can update you. But I'm off work. I accidentally brought my name tag with me. I don't normally do that. Uh, I just felt like it today, I guess. Also, because I forgot to put it away. Uh, but I'm off work now. So let's head home. I did wash my hair, so my hair is a lot less crusty. It is drying, but we can't have everything in life. Um, I'm just waiting on food to finish, but other than that, um, day is pretty much over. I'm gonna have to go to bed early, which is not a thing I like doing, but I do have an interview at 10 in the morning, and the place is about 15 minutes away from my house, which means I gotta leave 30 minutes early to find it because I'm bad at directions. Um, but yeah, other than that, that was the day. Uh, I'm eating really early. I don't only eat this early and it's only, it's what, like 10.45. That's early for dinner. I eat dinner at like midnight. Oh well, I will see you tomorrow. We're making dinner and a mess, but mostly dinner. Um, oh, can I do this one handed? Probably not. Um, we have some ground beef, and then this is gonna be rice. It's just in this bag right now. And then this is gonna be tortillas. Join that bag right over there. Big bag. Because I got the tortillas like no one's business. Um, and that's, that's it. But there's a brief pause in the cooking process so I can update you.